Hello, fans of the channel and fans of the brand and love diagnostics BMW. So, I introduce your attention to your attention, a new version of the working hours. It's version 1.5. The difference between the previous versions is that I already added a new version of the working hours. So, let's look at the work of the program. There are also automatic modes like in the previous versions. Siemens, Bosch, and the manual mode for MEVD17, EDC17, DD7. So, the manual mode works like in the previous versions. We choose the block, click auto reset, select dump and everything is done. So, everything is done with automatic settings, so as in previous versions, everything works. Now, let's look at a more detailed version for the block of MEVD17, EDC17, DDE7. So, press open dump. Dump has opened. For more clearly, dump is represented in the form of segments of 128 bytes. Since in these blocks dump deflash is divided into segments of 128 bytes, each segment has two control numbers in the beginning of 128 bytes and in the end of 128 bytes. which is intended to be a special algorithm of Bosch, which I managed to figure out and implement. So, we have opened the blocks, and now we can find our bytes working hours. With tool 32 we are looking for the famous job. Status Betrieb Zola. You already understood that this job is already. And we are getting our bytes with this job. And now we can find them in dump. I have already known them already. So we are putting them in this window. And click on the search button. Progress bar is completed, symbolizing that the bytes are found. The bytes are colored with yellow. And then we can install what we want to do or put them in zero. In this case, we have zero. We have zero. We have zero. So we can also put what we want in the bike. And also we can find the kilometer. For this I made a converter of kilometers and kilometers in hex. For example, we want to know how much of a thousand kilometers will be in hex. We click choose choose choose. Working horse, we put 1000 and click. Here we get hex result 1000 working hours, which we can find in dumping. If, for example, we want to find 1000 kilometers or 10,000 kilometers, we get bytes, which we find in dumping.
So, well, I think I put zero, but you can put as much as you want, if you want to put a car, if you want to put a car, or a kilometer, if you want to put a car. So, after we edited our block 128 bytes, we need to calculate the control numbers. As I already said, blocks for 128 bytes have two control numbers, one in the beginning block and the other in the end block. For this we have a block. There is no mistake here, I have done a test on a dumbass. If you, let's say you have more, than the size of the block, or less, let's say, I have more, and I have to calculate the control number, then I will get a mistake, because this is not 128 bytes. So, we have 128 bytes in our block, we have to calculate the checksum. All the control sum are written and written in the block. As we see, they changed in the beginning of block and in the beginning of block. Alright, now we've edited the auto chaser. We've nulled. We've got zero. We've got zero. We've got control numbers. And now we've got to save the dump. Save the dump. And we've got our dump. Dump saved. Dump. I also told you about the converter, that you can switch to KM in HEX and find it in Dumpy. Yes, there is also the size of dump. As we can see here 64 kilobytes, which corresponds to dump dflash block MEVD17, EDC17, DDE7. Also, these dumps may be 128 kilobytes, so everything is clear. The software will be available in my online store and also on Boosty. If you want, buy the software.